Hi there, I'm Kristen McLean and I work for Netherly Primary. I'm David Duncan and I'm also a teacher at Netherly Primary. And in this video we are going to talk to you about some of the vocabulary used when teaching simple percentages. We're also going to go on to show you some of the activities that children might do when they're learning about percentages. It is important to mention that children within second level will have had experience of working with fractions and with decimals and as they consolidate their learning and learning about percentages they'll also look at the links between fractions, decimals and percentages. Okay. So the first thing that children would be taught is that percent means out of 100 and uh, teachers might use an example like this to show the children. So in this diagram they'll be asked how many squares are coloured red. There's 20 squares out of the 100 there that are red, therefore 20% of the full diagram is shaded red. Another example of this would be in this diagram where there are 10 of 100 squares coloured blue, so therefore 10% are blue. In thinking about finding a percentage of a quantity, children will already have some prior knowledge. So that is simplifying fractions and also finding a fraction of a quantity where they're using division and multiplication skills. For example, we have finding 10%. So here we have 10% of 30. The children should be able to relate 10% to 10 out of 100. And the children should know that 10 out of 100 simplifies to 1 tenth. So here we have 1 tenth of 30. The children should be able to calculate that by taking the 30 and dividing it by 10, the denominator. So then we have 30 divided by 10, which equals 3. So 10% of 30 equals 3. So children will use the strategies that David described to calculate finding a percentage of a quantity. However, there are different ways that children can calculate these and we're going to show you a few different examples in the next few slides. So when children go on to finding 20%, there are a few ways which they can do that. So in this example, we're calculating 20% of 40. They will know that 20% is the same as 20 out of 100, which simplifies down to a fifth. So they then find a fifth of 40 by dividing 40 by 5, which gives you 8. So 20% of 40 is 8. But there's another way that they can do it, where they can find 10% of 40, which equals 4, multiply this by 2 to give you 8, so 20% of 40 equals 8. As well as working with 10% and 20%, here are some other percentages that we would like children to have a good understanding of. So we have 1% here. So we have 1% of 500. 1% is the same as 1 out of 100, which um, here gives us 500 divided by 100, which equals 5. When looking at 50%, children should be able to relate 50% to 50 over 100 which is one half. So we have one half of 240. So 240 divided by 2 equals 120. The other two common percentages that we would like children at second level to know is a 25% and 75%. So again, for 25%, we've shown you two different ways of working it out, but there might be more than these two ways um, listed. So 25% of 32 is the same as 25 out of 100 of 32 or a quarter of 32. So 32 divided by 4 is 8. The other way they might do that is by finding 50% of the 32 and then halving their answer. When finding 75%, we've gone for 75% of 44 in this example. They would know that that's 75 out of 100. They would then simplify that down to 3 quarters of 44. Divide 44 by 4, which equals 11. And then multiply 11 by 3 to get the 3 quarters. So they found 1 quarter here when they've divided it by 4. And then when they multiply that by 3, they're finding 3 quarters. They also might find 50% of 44 half their answer and then add those two answers together. So in summary, we have that percent means out of 100. We also have the fact that children should be able to recognise the percentage symbol, which has been highlighted throughout the presentation. Children should also know that 100% is a whole um, and they should also be aware of finding out common percentages of a quantity by converting the percentage to the fraction. So the common percentages that we would want children to know at this level are 1%, 10%, 20%, 25%, 50%, 75% and 100% and children should be able to work with all these confidently. In the examples that David and I went through with you, we showed you children converting 10% into 10 out of 100 and then simplifying the fraction, but eventually we would hope that children would remember that 10% is equal to a tenth, 20% is equal to a fifth, 25% to a quarter, 50% to a half, 
75% to three quarters and 100% would be the whole. So following on from what Kirsten has said, that will then improve children's mental agility. It will give them a chance to think about what strategy works best for them and to use that strategy in their work. As children then progress, what they'll start to do is they'll start to use all of this learning to calculate less common percentages um, within different quantities, working with different quantities. Okay, so one of the main things we would like children to realise when they're calculating simple percentages is that when they're finding a percentage of a quantity, it's really exactly the same as finding a fraction of a quantity um, and that they can memorise what fraction relates to what percentage in order to help them do this. One of the ways that you can help your children learn about percentages is to immerse them in lots of different opportunities, real life contexts, for example, looking at shopping, going to the shops and thinking about if there's a 10% sale, how would that affect the prices of some of the things that your child may be buying. As well as that, you could also look at different sports, so you have football possession, possessions within tennis, etc. You can do lots of different activities around that. Mm -hmm.